Once again, this is Prince Dax here on the Royal Financial Investment Group coming to you guys with another great awesome video. As you guys can already see in the title of this video, this title of the video is going to be something about uh, 2016, my favorite stock picks. Just three of my picks I'm going to uh, disclose here uh, and give you guys the reasons why. But uh, thank you guys for liking, subscribing, and commenting and sharing. Don't forget to do some more of it, share with your friends, all of the good stuff. I'm truly grateful for it. Uh, for all the people that's commenting and thumbs up and, and stuff like that, giving all the great feedback. And I'm trying to get these videos out as fast as I can, uh, when I can, bring you guys good quality. But we don't have time for all that. I don't have a lot of time. I definitely know you guys don't have a lot of time. So like we always do, we're going to skip the small talk and jump straight into it. Anyway, so my top three picks for 2016 and my projection for 2016. 2016 is the year of the bear, which you can kind of tell, which means bears going down. Uh, with the market going down, not necessarily mean a bad thing in the world. I just think that it's a cycle. Uh, as you guys can see on other videos that I wrote, uh, the cycles, the four cycles, uh of the stock market which is the trough and expansion a peak and a contraction or recession and then back into a trough so right now i kind of feel as though we're in that peakish phase and the reason why i think that we're in the peakish phase is in an expansion phase you have uh great earnings you have a uh, low unemployment and things of that nature. I want to go all into all the details of expansions. I know I already did a video on it. And those are things that we've seen in the last year, uh, mainly for the last, what, eight years, whatever, since the crash in 2008. Since the crash in 2008, around about 2009, 2010, you know, the bear, uh, the bear kind of moved aside and the bull took over to what we had in 2016. And we know about every eight years, we see a big swing in things. For prime example, eight years ago, We've seen the market, the housing market crash. Eight years before in 2000, we've seen the dot-com bubble. So you kind of see a trend about every eight years, we see the, the cycle kind of continues. And already starting in uh, January of this year, we're already seeing that cycle of, of, of a declining market. Well, right now we're in the midst of earnings season. and earnings season, we've seen more stocks decline than uh go up, decline, then incline, right? We've seen the bears pretty much taking over. Everybody's kind of scared, what I feel. Everybody's trying to time the market out. Uh, a lot of volatility. You got a lot of stuff going on in China. Europe is trying to get its stuff together. Japan has placed a negative interest rate to make people invest. Uh, yeah, so you have a lot going on right now, right? And the U.S. market, I think, will start to see a decline. So how do you take advantage? Actually, what most people don't realize is that you can make more money from a downside than you can from an upside. So I want to give you three things. Uh, the first one I have up here is the uh, what is this IPE. This is a TIPS ETF. TIPS is pretty much inflation. Now, the reason why I believe inflation is going to go up, there's a reason why I think inflation is going to go up. You know we have all the talks about unemployment. Uh, not unemployment, but uh, minimum wage, raising minimum wage, and the minimum wage is low. I'm not a politician. I'm not anything like that. So I'm not going to drop my opinion on what we should do. But it's a big talk and a big push that a lot of companies are forced to raise their income. Not their income, but they're forced to raise their uh, the minimum wage for the employees. Now, what, what what does that do when you raise the income of the employee or the pay of the employee? I'm like you saying income. But if you raise the pay of the employees, somebody's going to have to foot that bill. Right, that means that either the price of the goods are going to go up, or the owners are just going to take a pay cut. Now, what do I believe? Now, you know, let's say some other tricky thing out there. I don't know everything. You know, you can share what you think about it. But I say, hey, well, where's this money going to come from? If you're taking somebody from, let's say, six dollars an hour all the way up to fifteen dollars an hour, who's going to bite the bullet? You think the CEOs are going to bite the bullet? You think this is going to cut costs? No, I think that they're going to hire less people. And that, or they're going to pass that price on to us as the customers. You know, things are going to start to see prices go up, which means the price of things go up. More money is being pumped into the economy. When you pump more money into the economy and the price of things are going up, that is called inflation, right? So I think that inflation is going to go up. So how can I profit from inflation going up? Right? You have an IPE here, which is a, a tip, right? The Treasury Inflation Protection. These things are to, this is an investment that, tracks inflation and supposed to go with inflation and stuff like that so as inflation goes up so does the value of this and i've been holding this since i want to say december january and it's it's done pretty well it's green right it's been doing pretty well turn 
return on investment. Right? This is not a get rich, throw it in here real quick and make money real fast. This is something I would recommend. Not that I would recommend. Let me take that back. Just something that if I'm going into 2016, me personally, my personal opinion, that I want in the bottom of my uh, portfolio. So this is one. Uh, right now, the expense ratio is 0.15. Uh, number two will be, I've been putting this out for a while now, gold. AIU, um, as this is coming up, it's another one that I like. And the reason why I like a AIU, I don't have to buy the particular gold company or anything like that. I can just track it with an ETF. Like as we can see here, this is a gold ETF. The shares are going down for $11 or whatever. Uh, expense ratio of 0.25. This tracks gold. I don't want to go to the detail, but it tracks gold and it's pretty low with expense. It doesn't pay dividends, just like the IPE doesn't pay dividends. And the reason why I think gold is going to go up, as we know, back in 2008, if you recall, this is when I was coming onto the market. So I have seen a market decline and I have the opportunity to see a bull market. So I got a chance to see a bearish market and a bull market so far. So I remember in 2008, gold was the hot ticket item. Everybody was saying, you've seen all these commercials. We buy gold. Send us your gold. Gold this, gold that. Everybody's rushing to gold, right? The economy was in the dumps. Gold was at the top. They work in reverse. So coming into 2016, I see the economy potentially taking a cool off, not a, a dive in Hey, why it's going to go through the world? But I see the market taking a cool off. But as that cool off comes, I know that gold will increase. Like it's already done this year. You're going to see more people talking about it and talking about how big it is. But, you know, if you follow me, you know, I've been saying this for a while now that uh, I would go into gold. Gold is at like a six year low, six, seven year low. Um, I'm going to say about a month or two ago. And I was telling people that, hey, with me, my personal opinion, I'm going to go to gold because I know as the market decline, um, investors are going to look for safe places to put their money, and usually when that happens, they run to gold. And when the economy is doing great, gold does does horrible. So that's my thing on uh, gold. The next one would be the next one. Um, you know, like I said, would be the U.S. dollar, right? The U.S. dollar has now has been on a bullish turn for the last. Uh, Three, I don't know, a couple years now, it's pretty much been at the top. The, the dollar's doing very strong. And you can tell in this earnings season that the dollar's doing pretty strong. Because when the dollar's doing strong, it's great for the economy, uh, it's great for the economy, but it sucks for earnings because that means that companies around the world can't afford you. You know, countries, you know, the internet, because pretty much every U.S. company uh, pretty much is global. You know, every U.S. company, even the small guys are global. Everybody's pretty much global. So the global market can't afford your goods. That would hurt international sales. So right now, the dollar is very strong. And knowing the business cycle, knowing that, hey, I remember when the dollar was very weak, and now the dollar is very strong, looking at inflation, stuff like that, I know that the dollar is going to take a little cool off. And as it takes a seat, how can I profit from it? So right here, you have UDN which is a bearish index on the dollar, meaning as the dollar gets weaker, this index goes up in value. Uh, right now, it's $21 a share. It doesn't pay dividends. I don't like that part about it. The, the uh, expense ratio is a little high for my coffer. So if you guys here or know of anything that is cheaper that can do the exact same thing, definitely drop a comment below and let me know. So my top three picks, I go over them again. It was first the uh, up on inflation. Second one was gold, and the third one was uh, the U.S. dollar uh, decline. Those are my three picks, you know, for 2016. It's not all of them. I have more of them, but I don't want to make this video too long because, you know, I try to keep videos short, sweet, and to the point as always, which you guys like to see and hear about this channel anyway. But these are my three uh, picks, and this is my thought process behind it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment, and let me know what you guys think. Hey, say Prince, man, this video was great. It was stupid. It didn't make sense. You know, let's talk about it. Anyway, until the next video, you, you guys already know what to do. Be safe. I'm out. <laughs>